Hey guys, before the video starts, I just want to make a comment. Um, I don't handle my hermit crabs in a re on a regular basis. I'll handle them to pick them up and put them on my blanket or on my lap or on my hand, but I don't often hold them up. And you're going to see me holding it, them up just so you can see their colors and stuff. They're not in danger. They're not in stress. It's just for a minute. Um, and truly, it's, it's just... I just feel like people are going to attack me for no matter what I do on the internet, but I just wanted to put a little remark in there. I'm going to be doing a separate video on how to handle hermit crabs, uh, but I just want to say that my hermit crabs are not in stress, not in danger. If you see their pinchers out, that's just a common thing, thing hermit crabs do when they are picked up, and my newer crabs are just a little unaware of handling and stuff like that because they probably haven't been handled before, but you'll see all my old crabs have no issue with it. Anyways, let's get on with the video. Hey guys, it's Amanda from Amanda Loves Animals. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a Meet My Hermit Crabs video. Um, I'm going to do a Meet All My Pets video, but I figured the first part will just be my hermit crabs and the second part will be the rest of them because my tanks aren't clean. Today is the cleaning day and I have my hermit crabs out right now, so I figured now would be the best time to do it. Um, I'm, I'll do a little description of each, but I'm not going to spend a super long time on any crabs just because there's nine of them and this isn't going to be a 20 minute video, but I'll give you a little information about each and then after each crab I show there'll be a picture of them, like a nice picture of them out of their shell and all that. So I'm going to start with Nevins and Nevins is a new crab that I just got. He was in my last video that you guys saw. He's a really pretty um, color. He's a Caribbean slash purple pincher, a male, and this is the shell that a lot of crabs have gone into. And I just got him, so his uh, adoption area is February 2018. I keep track of the month and the year, so super pretty. The next crab I'm gonna introduce is Rosie. Um, Rosie, where are you, girl? Rosie came along with Nevins, um, my new hermit crabs that I adopted last video. I talked more about them. She is a beautiful red color. I also love the shell that she came into. But she's a female Caribbean slash purple pincher. Her adoption date is February 2018. The next hermit crab I'm going to introduce is Kalani. And... She is a super cute, tiny little crab. I got her in July 2016. She's a Caribbean female, one of my smallest crabs. I'm pretty sure she might be the smallest one right now, actually. And I don't think she'll come out. She's pretty shy, but she's got a lot of white on her. The next crab I'm going to introduce is Riptide. He is a beast, a huge crab. I've had him since July 2016. I got him along with Kalani, and he's beautiful, uh, bright maroon, um, like, sorry, dark maroon brownish color. The next tribe I'm introducing is Cricket. I got him in the summer of 2016. I don't really know exactly when, but he is a brown purple pincher, Caribbean male, holding onto a shell because this guy is super fast and like will just run right off things. He like doesn't understand like depth perception at all. Um, but his big pincher, he actually lost in a bad molt and then he molted twice and was able to fully regain it. But I'm going to put him back before he runs off. The next crab is Jackie. She's a female purple pincher. Um, I think I got her summer of 2017, possibly. Um, unfortunately, I didn't write down her adoption date or Cricket's date. Um, but yeah, I think I got her summer of 2017. And she's a really pretty crab, but she's super shy. Um, but she's a really sweet crab, and she's got a really nice show going on right now. The next crab I'm going to introduce is Alexandria, or Alex as I like to call her. I got her in August of 2015. It's really pretty spiral jade shell on, and a distinct thing about her is she has huge antennas. Um, like, the length of them is insane, and I can see her from a mile away with these huge antennas. Like, they're so big that you can't even really see them because they're super thin, but they're like so long. You can see them right there. It's crazy. 
Next crab I'm going to introduce is Sand. Sand is the crab that I've had the longest. I got her in 2014 and um, I she was the first crab I got along with Ocean, her sister at the time who passed away unfortunately. Um, and I've had her the longest and she's molted with me for years and been with me for years and she's super used to me and all that. She's definitely the leader of the pack like when I get a new crab I have to introduce to her first and stuff like that. But she's been through all my care changes, you know, going from not so good care to really good care and all that. So she's been through it all, but um, super sweet girl. And she's changed through a lot of shells right now. She's got this really pretty shell going on now. Next crab I'm going to introduce is Smudge. She is my only um, Ecuadorian hermit crab. I had another one at one point. But they're super brown and like this beautiful like chocolatey color and um, they are like really fast and love to bury a lot and they don't really change shells that much. That's like the difference in behaviors is what I'm trying to say. From had her since 2014 too um, but I got her a little bit later than I did sand. Um, I didn't realize I had her that long. I just looked in my book. I'll show you my book after I'm done. But um, so yeah I got her about the same time I got sand but a few months later. Super beautiful crab. Um, I'll include some pictures of her. Really gorgeous crabs. Ecuadorians are definitely my favorite type of crab, but they are pretty hard to find where I'm from. So yeah, those are my hermit crabs. I hope you enjoyed the new pictures that I took and learning a little bit about the hermit crabs I have and everything like that. And the book that I was reading from the information is this hermit crab record book that I've had for a very long time. I really enjoy keeping um, a book track of them. And so I keep a little page about everybody. And then at the end, I have like, um, I have tabs. So I have like say food lists and just information about hermit crabs that's important and just like my tank history and everything like that so I keep track of all that in here um so yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next part where you get to meet the rest of my pets